Okay, let's start recording. Okay. Hey guys! Uh, okay. I'm here because I lost my camera. And then I was gonna use my webcam, but my computer started to act up, so I couldn't. And yeah. Okay, so, um, let's get down to some sort of business. I'm pretty sure I don't have any, um, challenges. I'm not sure. But, um, I'm gonna challenge someone. Okay, so the person, before I give a challenge, I read a book. Guess what book? Elaine. Um, you're showing books, and um, I I saw this book. You had it, and then I went to the bookstore, and I was looking for a book, but I couldn't find it, and I saw this book. Ooh, I think you can see the crazy girl. You can, you can see the crazy girl. Uh, uh, uh. Crazy girl. Crazy. Uh, okay. So yeah, I read that book, and it was good. It was pretty sad, and the end was not expected, but. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna lie. It was expected because when I was like halfway through the book, I went to the end and read the last page. But yeah. Whatever. Um. So. Now I'm gonna do a challenge. Person I challenge, I want you to relate a character in a book or a TV show to um, Twilight. For example, I watch the TV show Full Metal Alchemist sometimes, and there's a character named Edward Elric, and um, it's not just his name is Edward, but he looks like Jasper because he has like these like yellowish eyes and blonde hair, so he reminds me of Jasper, and then he has the name Edward. Yeah. It's a it's a pretty good show, but I think it's a mature audience is only in. Yeah. yeah. But that guy, um but yeah, um Edward Elric. He looks like Jasper and he has a name Edward. So you know, I would say that. Or you can have read a book and there's a guy named Edward. You say this guy named this guy's named Edward and kind of acts like Edward or whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Okay. So the person I choose, I'm gonna use glass guys because my cards are up in my closet over there, and I don't want to get them. So I'll use the date of her diary to um choose who I'll be challenging. October 27th, okay? October 27th. 7, 7, 7, 7, Let's see if it's 7. Let's go 7. I don't want to add what's 9, but 7. Or what's 7 be? Okay, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Chandler. That challenge is for you. So, have fun with that. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to talk about, um, oh, Anna, you were right. I totally agree with you. You know how they're giving us so many Twilight scenes? It's like you go in and you watch it, and there's only 10 minutes of stuff you haven't seen. It's like, oh my god, I haven't seen this part. Two minutes later, it's over, and you're like, so. What are we doing now on board? I mean, seriously, like, I'd totally do something like that. It'd be funny. 
Well, not funny, because you pay for a ticket and get some news out of it that you haven't seen. But yeah. And, um, I do watch Heroes. So, this past Monday, they had a little scene of, um, Twilight in the, um, first break. And, um, I was like, because they were saying they sent, uh, like, a newsletter to people who, like, registered on the Twilight website. And they're like, Twilight, sneak peek on Heroes this Monday, this past Monday, which was, when was this past Monday? I don't know what that was. Okay. Okay. So I November tenth, watch Heroes to the sneak peek. It was like the shortest little thing ever and it was stuff I'd already seen like a couple times. I was like, is that it? Are you serious? And I was gonna watch the whole episode of Heroes anyways, but I was like I was like I didn't want to leave the T V. Even though like well I didn't have to because my brother was only really watching Heroes and my dad was watching Heroes because me, my oldest brother, Oscar, and my dad all watch Heroes because we love Heroes. And my dad's starting to go, uh, what is it? He's saying he's like, I'm starting not to like it anymore. I also watch that in Supernatural. Two very good shows. Pretty different, but, yeah. Okay, and, um, yeah. And Twilight Soundtrack, I have a story for you guys. It's really short. I'm gonna make this really fast. Um, on the day when, um, when they did the listening party, I went to the mall. I didn't know they were going to have a listening party. But I went to the mall, and um, I saw something Twilight on the soundtrack when I walked out of um, Hot Topics. And um, I was like, hey, it's a Twilight member. was like, well, we're going to go around anyway, so we'll just come back and see it. Um, and I read it, and it said Twilight listening party, and it was that day at 7 o'clock and we got there at like 7.30 so they were like sorry about that I don't remember where I was okay well let's just go from where I know I said I uh, got there at like 7.30 with my brother to the mall and he was like he was like oh we must have been playing while we were in there and I was like because he didn't even let me stop to see I, I didn't all I saw was like Twilight Soundtrack when we left on top of store at first I got really mad because we were probably, you know, they were probably playing it at least I think it was just saying. Well, we got there like, when we got to the mall, we were like in Hot Topic 30 minutes afterwards. After what time it said, um, it started. And yeah. Oh, and I heard Bella's lullaby. I think the only thing, well, yeah, is. Um, and, uh, like, you're right, I thought it was written by Robert Pattinson, too, but I guess, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but the, I think the only thing is that I expected it just to be piano. And it wasn't. It was, like, a whole orchestra. And I was like, it was nice, but so I love Decode. The music is good. I like all the songs from the soundtrack pretty much. Um, I think that's it. I think so. Mm. Yeah. So, um, I'll see you guys all next week. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. See you next week. Adios. And I'm Mexican and I'm saying it like the whitest white person ever. I'm saying adios. Yeah. I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> Bye guys.